In a poignant and deeply moving gesture amidst her ongoing battle with cancer, Princess Catherine took a moment to express her sincere gratitude to the healthcare professionals who have been by her side during the initial stages of the chemotherapy treatment. When it comes to taking care of children, it is impossible not to mention the children's longtime nanny, Maria Teresa Turian Barallo. Although she was placed at another property far from the whale's house, though she's remained a caretaker for the kids. However, no matter where she is, with her support, Catherine can rest assured that the children will be well taken care of when she's not around. During this challenging time, the key nanny has been a constant and reassuring presence in the lives of the royal trio, known for her dedication to their care and well-being. And while the princess recuperates, her children must follow a very strict set of rules which involve certain bedtime and screen time along with some don'ts. And doesn't the decision to involve the nanny underscore the importance of maintaining a sense of routine and normalcy for the young prince and princess, with Princess Catherine expected to have the next course of chemotherapy? The support of Nanny Maria becomes even more significant in ensuring the children feel secure and cared for. Maria had a simple and austere upbringing which some believed made her a perfect candidate to become a servant of God. Her regular attendance at church with her family may have contributed to her strong faith and values, evident in her work as a nanny. The royal nanny's experience and expertise in child care contribute to a stable and nurturing environment for Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis during their mother's recovery. She reportedly joined the royal household in March 2014 when Prince George was eight months old. It's worth noting that Maria was not the first nanny hired by Princess Catherine. William and Catherine previously hired William's former nanny, Jessie Webb, who had already retired at 72. Jessie came out of retirement to take care of Prince George until Maria took over the position. Maria's first public appearance with the family was during the tour of Australia and New Zealand, where she was seen tending to baby Prince George. Since then, Maria has become integral to the family, looking after Prince George and caring for Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. She was seen holding up her phone inside Buckingham Palace during Trooping the Color. She appeared to be taking pictures of the Princess of Wales leaning down to speak to her children before they climbed aboard a royal carriage at the start of King Charles's birthday parade. This isn't the first time that Nanny Maria has made an appearance at Trooping the Color. In previous years, she's been spotted peeking out of Buckingham Palace's windows with the royal kids, watching all the action from inside. Sometimes she wears a specific uniform, Maria's attire which consisted entirely of brown causing confusion among spectators at both Pippa Middleton's wedding and Princess Charlotte's christening. However, this brown outfit is the customary attire given to graduates of Norland School, nor nannies, including Maria, are often compared to Mary Poppins due to their unique uniforms, which consist of a brown dress, hat, and white gloves. This outfit has become synonymous with exceptional childcare and is considered an iconic symbol of tradition and quality upheld for over a century. Wearing the Norland uniform is a privilege and a responsibility signifying a commitment to delivering the highest standard of care and education for young children. According to royal expert Victoria Murphy, Maria is well-trained in a specialized field. The nannies at Norland College are taught various skills from defensive driving to security issues and caring for future monarchs, as Murphy puts it. Maria knows everything that you could need to know about bringing up a child. Maria recently, training in Taekwondo, to ward off potential kidnappers and evasive driving to avoid paparazzi. She keeps her personal life out of the public eye. Kensington Palace made a statement when Maria started working for the Wells family, asking her for privacy that her family and friends to be respected.